Welcome back to Digital Academy, the complete Python development course for beginners. In the previous tutorial, you may have discovered variables and data types, from the very first moment it has been created, throughout its entire lifetime, as well as creating and naming Python objects of different data types. In this new video, you will now discover multiple operators in Python, and how to use them. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. You may also want to follow Digital Academy, on our other social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Patreon. This way, we could, stay in touch, grow this community, then share and help each other, throughout this exciting journey, our journey. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Python language is one of the most popular programming languages. Whilst learning Python is seemingly easy, there are certain core concepts that must be mastered, before moving on with various applications of Python. Operators in Python are one of the core fundamental concepts. Therefore, this video will help you understand the different types of operators in Python, so let's stick around and watch until the end of this video. What is an operator? Operators in Python are special symbols you will use for operations between two values, or variables. The values that an operator acts on, are called operands. And the output varies according to the type of operator you have used in the operation. Suppose if you want to perform addition of two variables or values, you can use the addition operator for this special operation. The values in the operands can be variable, or any data type that you have in Python. Here is an example. In this case, the plus operator adds the operands a and b together. An operand can be either a literal value, or a variable that references an object. A sequence of operands and operators, like a plus b, is called an expression. Python supports many operators, for combining data objects into expressions. These operators are explored in the next section. Types of operators. Depending upon the type of operations you want to perform, there are seven types of operators in Python. Arithmetic operators. Assignment operators. Comparison operators. Logical operators. Bitwise operators. Identity operators. Membership operators. Arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used to perform common mathematical operations in Python, like addition, subtraction and multiplication, but also division, among so many others. Below are the arithmetic operators with symbols, and their meaning. These are simple mathematical operators that you will use, while doing an arithmetic operation in Python. Apart from these four basic arithmetic operators, you also have exponential, modulus and floor division operators. Please note that the result of standard division, is always a float, even if the dividend is evenly divisible by the divisor. Whereas the fractional portion of floor division, is truncated off, leaving only the integer portion. Assignment operators. Assignment operators are used to assign values to the variables, or any other object in Python. For instance, x equals 5 is a simple assignment operator, that assigns the value 5, on the right, to the variable x, on the left. There are also multiple compound operators in Python, like, x plus equals 5, that adds to the variable and later assigns the same. Therefore, this is the equivalent of, x equals x plus 5. Comparison operators. Next, let's move forward to the next operator, comparison operators, which are used to compare two values. Since it either returns true or false, comparison operators are typically used in Boolean contexts, like conditional and loop statements, in order to direct program flow, as you will see later, in the upcoming video. Following are the comparison operators that we have in Python, greater than, lesser than, equal to, and not equal to. Logical operators. Logical operators, and, or, and, not, operators are used to compare two conditional statements. The logical operators modify and join together expressions, evaluated in Boolean context, to create more complex conditions. When you use the, and, operator, the expression will return true, if both operands are true. Whereas using the, or, operator will only result in true, if at least one of the operands is true. Finally, the not operator will only give true, if the boolean expression as the operand is false. 
Bitwise operators. Let's move forward and look at bitwise operators, which are similar to logical operators but they treat operands as sequences of binary digits, and operate on them bit by bit. For example, 5 is 101 in binary form, and 7 is 111. When you perform a or operation on these operands, it will give you the output 7 111 in binary form, since you performed a logical operation on each bit of the numbers, one at a time. This is exactly the same, when you perform the and operation, but using the appropriate logical operation, bit by bit. Finally but no least, there is another bitwise operator in Python, called XOR. It performs the exclusive or operation on each bit of the numbers, and will return true only if one bit is true, not the both of them. Apart from these three operators, you have two more bitwise operators, which are right shift, and left shift operators. What basically happens, when this type of operand is used? First, the value is converted into its binary representation. Then, you will have to specify which type of shift you want to perform, using two greater than signs, or two lesser than signs. Finally, once you have done that, you will have to specify the number of bits you want to shift. Then, the binary output will shift towards the direction you chose, left or right, for the number of bits you specified. Python language offers some special type of operators, like the identity operator or the membership operator. They are described in the next sections, with a few examples for each one of them. Identity operators. Identity operators, is and is not, are used to compare two values, or variables, not if they are equal, but if they are actually the same object, located on the same part of the memory. Hence, the two variables that are equal does not necessarily imply that they are identical, with the same identity. Here is an example of two objects that are equal, but not identical, x and y both refer to objects whose value is 5, they are equal. But they do not reference the same object, as you can verify, x and y do not have the same identity, and, x is y, returns false. You saw previously that when you make an assignment like, x equals y, Python merely creates a second reference, to the same object, and you could confirm that fact with the id function. You can also confirm it, using the is operator. Unsurprisingly, the opposite of is, is, is not. Let's move forward to the last type of operators. Membership operators. Membership operators, in, and, not in, are used to test whether a value, or variable, is found in a sequence, string, list, tuple, set or dictionary. Following are the membership operators that we have in Python, and return a boolean. For instance, if a value 3 is found in the list x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the statement 3 in x will return true. On the other hand, the statement 3 not in x will return false, since 3 is not an element of this list. Operator precedence. All operators that the language supports are assigned a precedence. In an expression, all operators of highest precedence are performed first. Once those results are obtained, operators of the next highest precedence are performed. So it continues, until the expression is fully evaluated. And any operators of equal precedence, are performed in left to right order. Here is the order of precedence of the Python operators you have seen so far, from lowest to highest. Operators at the top of the table have the highest precedence, and those at the bottom of the table have the lowest any operators in the same row of the table, have equal precedence. Operator precedence can be overridden using parentheses. Expressions in parentheses are always performed first, and before expressions that are not parenthesized. There is nothing wrong with making liberal use of parentheses, even when they are not necessary to change the order of evaluation. In fact, it is considered good practice, because it can make the code more readable, and it relieves the reader of having to recall operator precedence from memory. You now have a complete overview of various operators in Python, but keep in mind that, when two operators share an operand, the operator with the higher precedence goes first, so are expressions in parentheses. In this tutorial, you discovered, multiple operators that Python supports, so you can combine objects into expressions. You should now have quite a good understanding of the assignment, logical and comparison operators. This way, you are fully prepared to explore conditions in much more detail, so you can now control the execution flow of your Python program, if else statements, which will be covered in the very next upcoming video.
So, do not waste any minute of it, and join us in the next episode. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and share.